My name is Miranda Wattis and I will be talking to you guys today about the importance of taking a break. So often college students are faced with anxiety and depression, but before we discuss that, let's talk about what exactly is anxiety and depression. Um, anxiety is defined as intense and excessive and persistent worry of fear. Symptoms of this are, um, are, are normally having a fast heart rate, not being able to breathe, excessive sweating, and sometimes even feeling tired. There's different kinds of anxiety. There's social anxiety, test anxiety, things like that. There's anxiety where you just randomly have a thought and you start worrying on that excessively. Um, students are often faced with this because of all of, thing, all of the things that we go through when it comes to school, classes, exams, outside life as well. Me personally, I go to school full time, I work full time, I volunteer at my sister's school, I do a lot, so I myself have anxiety. As well as depression, this is defined as loss of interest in activities causing significant impairment in daily life. Uh, symptoms of this reflect in changes of sleep and your energy level and your concentration. Sometimes you are also agitated easily, you're crying excessively even though you know normally you're not an emotional person. Um, sometimes you feel re re restless or you tend to isolate yourself from social, from social situations and things like that. Um, anxiety and depression are often linked and come together. Um, although they are totally different um, mental illnesses, they do have similar treatments as far as counseling and medication. Um, the reason why they normally occur together is because anxiety, since it, since it flows with excessive worry, that often leads you to feel in depressive moods, triggering depression. And as far as depression triggering anxiety, this is because of mostly panic disorders, like separation anxiety is a good example. Um, if someone has separation anxiety with their mother and then they're faced with leaving their mother, for example, a 12 year old child going to camp for a couple of weeks, they're excessively crying, they just wanna go home, they have that separation anxiety from being apart from their mom. And often, Depression and anxiety together are the most leading cause for suicides nowadays. Students in college, um, like I said, are often the ones who go through depression and anxiety the most. 24% um, of students reported having anxiety in a 2017 uh, poll that was held by edu uh, United Educators and 16% of students reported having depression. Um, and then here, I just have two graphs put together to kind of show right here, 71% um, uh, of, sorry, one second, 71% of women um, reported just general concerns for their mental health as far as anxiety and depression. Right here, this represents 29% of men reporting it. Um, here, I have 63% of women um, attempted suicide and 37% of men attempted suicide. And then here, we have 27% women were reported death by suicide due to depression and anxiety. And then up here, it's much higher for men. It's 72% that was conclusive for men. Um, so as far as depression and anxiety go, it's obviously super common and extremely worrying in college students, which is why it's important to take a break and take a breath. Um, you need to speak up and tell somebody, tell a friend, talk to a, your doctor. Um, there are treatments for it. You can go to therapy, take medication, and then of course, you don't have to go by the book. You can meditate at home. You know, in between doing homework and studying, make sure you're taking 10 to 15 minutes on average um, when you're doing 50 minute sessions of homework just to kind of relax and collect yourself because trust me, being on anxiety medication is not fun. You have to be on top of it every day. So it's just really important to take care of yourselves and take a break when it comes to school. Thank you.